Hey there, it's Katie and welcome to the second week of the cute um, Christmas cards and crafts collaboration. Um, thank you so much to all my new subscribers um, that have joined in the last few weeks. Um, I'm really appreciative and grateful for anyone that chooses to follow me and constantly surprised that anyone would want to watch uh, my craft video. So um, I'm really grateful. Um, so if you watched last week's video, I am taking part in a collaboration with seven, seven other, sorry, six other YouTubers, there's seven of us in total. And um, every Saturday throughout September, we are gonna be uploading videos showing you um, cute Christmas crafts or cards on a budget. Um, and so there'll be lots of inspiration ideas. So in today's video, I am gonna do something a little bit different. Um, this, uh, cute box um, which has a slight magnet to it this um, I purchased um, recently at a charity fair or um, thrift store actually um, it was one pound and uh, considering the size of it um, I just thought oh, this is really good I can definitely use this and customize it so um, I have an idea of what I want to use this for um, so um, follow me on this journey so first of all, I'm going to, I want it a lot paler, so I'm going to cover it in gesso. Um, it's already been painted grey, so um, I'm just going to use some cheap makeup sponges instead of a brush, um, just so I can get into all the um, corners really quickly. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do inside, um, but let's have a go and let's get this on nice and quickly so that we can get it dry and decorated. Hi, I'm back. So, um, this basically, this box um, has been gessoed in and out with white gesso and um, I actually left this overnight to dry because um, I put a couple of coats on it and it was quite tacky, so um, tacky, tacky to touch and quite sticky, so um, I thought I would give it 24 hours. So, <clears throat> I should tell you what I'm going to do with it now. Um, so basically, I was thinking about what cute Christmas crafts could I show you on YouTube, and I really like upcycling things as well. So as I said before, this box was cost me a pound in the UK, um, and what I was thinking is, um, in the UK, and I'm not sure if they do this in the States, but there is a service that you can pay for um, where your child can write a letter to Santa and you'll get a reply back. And of course there are store Santas near Christmas and one of the problems that my friends always have with their children is that the children really seriously confide in Santa either in the letter or it, with the store Santa telling them what they want for Christmas. And sometimes it's really hard for the parents to find out. So I was thinking of those parents that can't afford to pay for their children to see Santa or can't afford the service to get a letter from Santa how else could they communicate with Father Christmas and let him know what they would like whilst helping their parents out as well so with this box I thought this would be perfect as a little post box for Santa and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate it and then the idea is that um, your child every night um, maybe for the whole of December um, or even leading up to December could write a little note and put it in there for Santa and then when they go to bed obviously Santa will collect the letter he may or may not leave a reply um, but hopefully he'll tell mum and dad um, what kind of toys that your child would like um, so um, I just thought that would be a nice way to communicate with children um, with the joy of uh, Santa or Father Christmas or um, St Nicholas or how, however else uh, you celebrate Christmas or not at all. Um, also, alternatively, you could just decorate this as a box. Um, you could put felt inside and put sweets or treats or, or anything. Um, the reason I came up with this particular idea 
was that when I was little, um, I've heard this being done elsewhere, but I don't know many people that had this done, but um, when a tooth would fall out and I would leave um, my tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy, I would also write a letter to the fairy. And um, I always got a letter back from um, usually a different fairy each time and they would write in the smallest of, of handwriting and um, they would always tell me what they would carve my tooth um, to be, whether it was going to pave um, the way up to one of the fairy princess's castles or whether they were going to use it as a bird bath. Um, and I just love that I have um, a handful of these um, special letters from the tooth fairy or several different tooth fairy because obviously there's not one, just one that works. Um, there's a whole team of them. Um, and I just thought, that would be a great way to kind of replicate that for Santa. So, how am I going to decorate this? I've just so did it just to give it a good base, and I've gone through my stash and I found this very cute tissue paper. Now, I was actually looking for a Christmas napkin um, that I could mod podge this over, and I did have one with Santa on, but I can't find it. But with these reindeer, and obviously some with Rudolph on, um, I think this will go really well um, and keep in the spirit of writing to Father Christmas. So, um, yeah, I'm sure if, uh, if you get paper napkins at Christmas, you could use any of those or any tissue paper. You could go for something quite um, plain coloured and then just jazz it up with anything else. So I'm quite grateful that... Um, Thanks to Carolyn, um, one of my friends, um, she sent me some of this in some happy mail. So let's get going. So um, the box is looking fabulous with the tissue paper around it and now I just want to finish off decorating it and embellishing it. Um, the white gesso inside I actually want to go over and um, I want to tidy up this lid. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use some Inca gold and actually use the gold colour for Christmas because I think that works well with um, the reindeer tissue paper. Come on, munchkin. Oh. Um, obviously not everyone will have this product, um, but um, you know, you could use um, anything else to decorate this. You could use some more tissue paper, um, you could just glue some colored card onto it, you could use any paints, um, really the kind of, budget idea that I wanted to share with you is this idea of um, you making a Christmas decoration and the whole idea of writing a letter to Santa um, and saving a bit of money um, by having this kind of extra way of your children talking to Father Christmas. So um, all I need to do is get this going. So um, I will pour a little bit of water into the a little bit more than I was expecting and uh, I'll then put this on a uh, time lapse so that um, you can watch the process sped along and I'm just wary of Munchkin making another appearance because um, we've got a bit of rubbish on the table and she's the devil for that um, okay guys so um, continue watching and let's see how we get on
So here is the uh, box uh, almost finished and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It looks really different to the original uh, grey version. Um, so all I'm going to do is uh, use a few embellishments now just to add some finishing touches. So I found this um, secret Santa um, sticker in my stash. Um, I think it's from American Crafts and um, I really like the fact because he's putting his um, finger to his mouth to say shh it's a secret which I thought would work well for um, putting little secret notes to Santa in this box and then I just found some bling which I think most people, most crafters would have um, and I just wanted to edge the lid with this so um, I haven't made this for any particular gender so I thought if I just keep it quite simple um, it could appeal to anyone um, but of course you can embellish this as much as you like um, I was thinking of using some red ribbon to, to bring out the colours but um, yeah I think it uh, it looks it, I'm quite happy with how it looks um, just keeping it quite simple and that um, Santa sticker in the end wouldn't stick very well. Um, I don't know if it was because of the surface of the ink gold. So um, I ended up using some foam tape, which uh, gave it a bit more dimension as well. Um, and so, yeah, this is um, my cute Christmas craft on a budget. I hope you like this idea. I'm um, very simple, just to upcycle any kind of thing. Um little box or treasure trove that you, you might have around or in a th from a thrift store or charity shop um and I just think it, it's just a nice little decoration for Christmas um you can keep whatever in there um but I hope you like my idea of uh, using it as a little mailbox for Santa thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoy um this week's um, collaboration please do have a look at everyone else that's participating and um, I'll see you next week bye for now